24 collocations with the word spot from EspressoEnglish.net. Did you know that the word spot has a few different meanings in English? Here are the three most common. As a noun, a spot is a mark that is a different color. A leopard has spots. As a noun, a spot is also a place, location, or area. For example, this is a great spot for camping. As a verb, spot is an informal way to talk about seeing or detecting. For example, he spotted an eagle in the sky. In today's lesson, we're going to focus on definition number two, spot meaning a place, location, or area. There are a number of common collocations, combinations of words, that we can use together with spot. Learning collocations is a great way to help you put words together in ways that sound natural. You can get my 1000 Collocations ebook to learn more. Sometimes we want to say that a certain spot, a certain place, is great for a particular purpose. We can say it's a good, great, ideal, or perfect spot. For example, that new restaurant is a great spot for breakfast. The park is an ideal spot for kids to play. If we want to emphasize the accuracy of a specific spot, we can call it an exact or precise spot. For example, this is the exact spot where the battle took place. The injection must be given in a precise spot in the patient's back. When you enjoy a place, or when a lot of people also enjoy a place, it's a favorite or popular spot. For example, my favorite spot to sit is on my back porch. The Eiffel Tower is a popular spot for tourists. We can talk about a sunny or shady spot depending on whether or not it is in the sunlight. For example, our cat loves to lie in the sunny spot near the window. Let's find a shady spot for our picnic. A few more ways to describe a beautiful spot are a lovely, pleasant, and idyllic spot. The word idyllic describes a place that is especially beautiful and calm. For example, the top of the mountain is a lovely spot for stargazing. If you want a relaxing vacation, this tiny village is an idyllic spot. To talk about an isolated place, we can say it's a deserted, lonely, or desolate spot. These three words have a somewhat negative connotation, like the isolation is a bad thing. If we want to describe the isolation as a good thing, we can call it a secluded spot. There's also the expression a remote spot to describe a place that is far from other things. This is more neutral, not specifically good or bad. For example, my car broke down in a deserted spot and I had to wait three hours for help. We bought a vacation house in a secluded spot near the lake. No more noise from our neighbors. A vulnerable or weak spot is a place that is subject to damage, attack, or invasion. For example, there's a weak spot in the fence where the boards are broken. The expression soft spot is used to describe an area of emotion, usually special affection. For example, I have a soft spot for abandoned kittens. I've adopted three of them in the past year. We can also talk about a sore spot, meaning an area of emotion that causes pain or anger. For example, don't ask him about his recent divorce. It's a sore spot for him right now. Finally, some people have a bald spot, an area where there is no hair on their heads. My ebook, 1000 Collocations in 10 Minutes a Day, makes studying collocations quick, easy, and fun. It only takes about 10 minutes to read each lesson and take the practice quiz, making this the perfect ebook for you if you don't have much time. Click on the link in the video or in the description to learn more and get this ebook.